goods in area where the items are brought in from the suppliers and they're conditioned. Then they go into stock in the main warehouse and they're picked and packed from the orders and then they're sent out to our customers. What picking and packing actually is, is picking and packing a customer order and the way it works, our conveyor system, it's like a conveyor system that's on a tilt between two floors. So it starts at an induct station and is um, assigned to what we call a tow, which is a handling unit for the customer order, and it travels round. So we kind of say it's like a mini motorway. We've got five kilometres of uh, van der Landy conveyor, which is uh, the responsibility of the technicians to make sure that they keep it running. Um, if we get a section of conveyor uh, fall down, fall over, not working, it can have a, an effect on parcels going out to the customers. We have a tote that's inducted into the system from the customer contact centre purchase order. The tote follows the conveyor system round and it's got an electronic tag underneath and they, this tag tells the tote where to go within the picking and packing areas so it follows the system round. We'll go into a specific area for the picker to go and pick the stock from all of the, um, the bays. They'll put the stock into the tote and check the, the paperwork off and then put the paperwork back into the tote. This will then go back off onto the system and follow on to the next area where the next picker will pick the relevant stock off the order and then it follows its way down onto the packing bench where the girls check everything that's in the tote is correct and um, signs off the paperwork and packs it all into the jiffy bags or boxes that RS supply and then off it goes down to the area where it's posted out to our customers. We don't know how many orders we'll get today. What we do know is we need to get them all done. So that creates a great deal of stimulation when we're not as well on as we hope to be and we've got to pull out all the stops to make sure we get the workload done.